Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Canada, and in this video I'm providing a quick demo of how to control and monitor an ESP32's GPIO using Losantz Embedded Edge Agent, or EEA. The EEA brings Losantz low-code, drag-and-drop visual workflow engine to resource-constrained devices and gateways, including the ESP32. In short, the EEA lets us program these devices and remotely change their behavior without requiring traditional and complicated firmware development. The ultimate goal is to help you bring your connected products to market as fast and easy as possible. What you see on the screen right now is a live view of my ESP32 as well as a low scent dashboard where we can monitor and control the digital and analog I.O. I'm using the ESP32 Rover Kit which has an onboard RGB LED that we're controlling with the EEA. I've also added three external LEDs connected to digital outputs. For a digital input, I'm using this magnetic contact switch, and off-screen in a plant is one of these moisture sensors as an analog input. Switching to the dashboard, you can see the values of the moisture sensor and the contact switch. If I move the contact switch, you can see it update in real time. The input controls block is where we can remotely control the state of our digital outputs. Right now the onboard LED is blinking every one second, but I can disable that and control it manually instead. I can also individually control the value of each external LED. Everything here is being controlled by a Losant embedded workflow that's running on my ESP32. We can remotely view and debug this workflow in real time using Losant's Live Look feature. Let's re-enable blinking and switch to the workflow. Every one second, we're getting new debug entries as this workflow runs and toggles the LED on and off. That's because this workflow is designed to trigger once per second, check whether it should automatically blink the LED, toggles a value back and forth between 0 and 1, and finally writes that value to the three digital outputs that control the RGB's three LEDs. If we return to the dashboard and disable blinking, we can see that the device has received a command to change the automatic blinking behavior, in this case, turning it off. With automatic blinking disabled, we can now manually control the LED by clicking the toggle button on the dashboard. Every time I click this button, the device receives the toggle command, which does the same thing as the timer trigger except manually instead of on an automatic interval. Everything you've seen in this video is provided for you as part of the ESP32 and Embedded Edge Agent application template. You can explore this template and all other Losant features at no cost using Losant's Developer Sandbox. You can learn more at losant.com. Thank you.